Hi there everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and welcome to another demonstration today. We are going to be creating a really nice wreath. Um, so a bit of a Christmas card, but I think you can use wreaths any time of the year. Um, just depends what you want to put in it really. I've got a few different stamps here, mainly mini stamps. I've got my Versafine Claire's and I've got some elements and I've got my stencil brushes. First of all, I've got my round mask and I'm going to draw around it. You can cut the multifarious card to any size that you like and I'm going to pop that down. And then using a pencil, I'm just going to work my way around very lightly just to give me an indication of where I'm going to be stamping. And I've just realised this is one of Jamie's pencils, probably from when he was at school. Do you remember when you used to do that? Actually write your name on the pencil. You used to get a, get a knife and cut a little bit out and then... So, yeah, but Jamie doesn't even remember that. There we go. <laughs> so, I've got a very faint line there now, but it's a guide for me to follow. I've got my small block. So I'm going to start with a little foliage stamp with the Golden Meadow, which is a really nice light sort of green yellow. And then building up depth of colour um, afterwards. So initially start light, work your way around. So easy to do and you can see the depth that that already has and that's simply because I've stamped the uh, same image three times off one ink. That gives you immediate depth. So next up I've got another little stamp here and I'm going to ink up in the shady lane which is another green. It's not as dark as the forest green. So again, I'm just working my way around. so and then moving on I've got a little fern leaf so let's bring another colour in I've got Chianti here I'm going to just ink it and just try it first it's quite a dark colour but the the second impression probably works much better so ink up take off Ink up, take off, and you can see that you don't actually need much at all, just a few leaves. And I've got another one here. And this time we will ink up in the twilight. So this is our darker colour. I am stamping off initially just to see what it's like. And that's enough, I think. I don't want a darker colour at this stage. And now I've got a little 
little branch. And because this is so fine, I can actually go straight from the twilight on top. See how fine that is. So I can bring in all my detail now. So working my way around the edge. Take your time, enjoy it. Because these are so much fun to do. Okay, and now I'm going to just pop a little coming down on the one side. I've got a plan. So, I'm hoping the plan works. I'm going to ink up in twilight. Got a little lamp here. This is from one of our sets. And I'm going to pop that straight as I can down on the card. And then, I'm hoping this works, I'm going to ink up this time in the Nocturne. This is one of our little Meefs. And I'm going to have him hanging off the edge of the wreath. So give that a good press. There we go. That's worked out okay. And I think what we're going to do inside is our other little mise. Inking up in Nocturne again. I'm going to pop him a little bit higher maybe so he's not too hidden. Pop in there so he again can be like a focal point. So he is floating a little so all I'm going to do is ground him. Let's do it that way. So taking one of the stencil brushes, I'm going to use the graphite and I'm just going to go along the very edge of where he's standing just to ground him so he's not floating. I'm going to add a little bit of colour now. So I've got my lime punch. I'm taking one of my larger stencil brushes, inking up, swirling off initially. Very lightly, I'm going to go all the way around. And now I'm going to use the Brusset Orange 
in cap, take off, swirl it around and then bring that colour in gradually. And you can start putting a little bit more pressure on. Okay, so I think it needs a little bit more colour, maybe a little bit of red on top. So I'm going to use one of my glitter pens. And I'm just going to do some little berries. And I've got a nice winter verse here. So I'm going to ink up in which colour? Let's do the Chianti. Let's just take off that initial one first. that in cup take off I'm going to go around the edge of the card. Um, what colour? Maybe we'll use the graphite actually. So I've got my smaller brush here. And I'm just going to work my way around the edge. got my yellow poster here. I'm just going to put a little light on in the lamp. And a little bit of a glow around the outside. And I've got a little musical note here. I'm going to ink that up in the twilight. And take that first one off. Just add a little couple of musical notes there. And then finishing off, I'm going to use the ivory uh, Posca pen and I'm going to create a little bit of snow going across there. So give that a good shake and then we're going to use the end of the brush, the stencil brush and just tap that little bit of stickles. 
So beautiful green stickles and we're just going to dot over the top of that lovely Christmas wreath just to give it a little bit of a sparkle. as well because we all need a little bit of sparkle and that's it so I hope you've enjoyed that guys and um, I know I did so I hope it's inspired you to have a go yourselves it's really quite fun um, and as I say, if you haven't got these mini stamps to create the wreath, you can use whichever minis that you've got. So um, just have a go. Thanks very much for watching. You take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.